Hola right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne. If it's your first time here, then welcome. I have acquired quite a bit, quite a lot <laughs> of books recently. So I thought some of them are for my birthday, some of them are ARC, some of them I've just bought here and there. So I just thought I would get them together and talk to you guys about them. First is this advanced reader's copy of Wanderers by Chuck Wendig. I don't know too much about this except for the fact that it is being compared to Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, which if you guys know anything about me you know that's one of my favorite books of all time and it's always also being um it's also being compared to the stand by um stephen king which i've not read but it sounds uh very intriguing and i think has really good reviews uh then we have east of eden by john steinbeck i don't remember at all what this is about but i do remember that when i was trying to pick which john steinbeck i wanted to start with i decided on this one and then just kind of went with it so that's what's going on and i just decided to buy it <laughs> uh then there's one that i'm pretty sure i got a really early copy of i got this at the strand but i don't think it comes out until like october for some reason they were already selling it and it is cursed but illustrated by Frank Miller and written by Thomas Wheeler and this is a King Arthur story um, but it says what if the sword has chosen a queen and it has illustrations inside which are very interesting and it's pretty chunky middle grade fantasy that I am very intrigued by. Then we have um, a few graphic novels that are sound looked just super cute you may have seen two of these if you watch my weekly reading vlogs the first is stargazing by jen wang jen wang um i believe is one of the individuals involved yes in the prince the prince and the dressmaker which was one of my favorite graphic novels of last year um and i think won my oh my cutest book of the year award which i always give out um and it is stargazing i don't know anything about this i just saw that it was written that it was by first second um and by jan wang and i picked it up it's an advanced reader's copy and then another one here is called the okay witch by emma stein keller kellner and this i got because it says witch and because it has a cat on it um that's it that's literally the reason I got them <laughs> uh, or I picked them up those are advanced readers copies I got them from the store that I work at and then I have I bought this one um for my birthday for myself and this is this was our packed by Orion Andrews and this is about a group of kids who make a pact and then I guess some of the kids decide they don't want to go anymore and so our main character is stuck with kind of the oddball of the group and so they have to join forces and become friends and I think there might be a talking bear sounds cute and it's also like the artwork looks really nice and it's also by first second which I love their graphic novels um, then I have The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. Um, when she passed, I obviously, it became so, like, like, I realized and was very ashamed by the fact that I had never read anything of hers and it was recommended that I start with The Bluest Eye. And I think it's, it's about, um, our perception of beauty and sort of ethnocentric beauty standards and it discusses that through the lens of of race and beauty and all that and i've i've always been told to start here so that's what i'm going to do then i got sent by uh putnam great goddesses life lessons from myths and monsters by nikita gill and this is a poetry collection that focuses on the great goddesses uh, so like Athena, Hera. Uh, I was uh, very kindly sent to this this as a gift by Putnam. Then I have four more. Oh, actually, another one that was sent by very kindly by Putnam as a gift was Polite Society by Mahesh Rao, and I want to get to this one soon because it sounds really awesome and it is a re an Indian retelling of Jane Austen's Emma. Now I've had some like sort of hit or miss um, luck with the retellings of Pride and Prejudice this year so maybe I just need to switch gears and read a retelling of Emma which I read maybe about last year or two years ago and enjoyed um, while finding Emma 
frustrating, I still enjoyed the reading experience a lot, um, as I do with pretty much all of Jane Austen. So, very excited about this one. And it was blurbed by Kevin Kwan, the author of Crazy Rich Asians. It says, so funny, smart, sophisticated, and captivating, you just want to spend your whole life with it. And then um, I have four more advanced reader copies that I got from my job. One is a uh, middle grade fantasy that I know nothing about except the cover and the title. And the fact that it's middle grade and that made me want it. And it says Pages and Co. The Book Wanderers by Anna James. Now, it has a young girl with like um, a magnifying glass and one of those Sherlock Holmes hats um, and a cat and like a potion and then a bunch of books and it's called Book Wanderers. If you know anything about me, literally just looking at the cover should tell you that I would want to read this. And so, of course, um, I actually wasn't at work. I think I was on vacation when this came in and they put it aside just for me because they knew that I wanted it. So I got I got to work and there was like it was there as a surprise that just said my name on it and I grabbed it. <laughs> um, and then I have three that I have talked about in um, again, it's my weekly reading vlogs and they are three contemporary romances which you know i have been super in the mood for this year and they are no judgments by meg cabot don't forget about me by ma myrie mcfarlane and the stylist takes manhattan by rosie nixon and if i'm not mistaken these might all be set in new york at least these two are okay so this one's set in florida and these two i believe are set in new york and they are Actually, no. I don't know where this one takes place. I don't know where this one takes place. But it was, um, it's been blurbed by Jenny Colgan, who is like the queen of cutesy contemporary, contemporary bookishy romances. Um, and I think all of these have something to do with like the life of our main character is not going as planned. And so she makes a drastic change to try and make her life better and then she falls in love and things get like even even better and that is cute and kind of what i am in the mood for a lot lately <laughs> i recently got from the barnes and noble book hall um the library of lost and found by phaedra patrick and this has i don't know too much about it except for the fact that it's, it's been getting a lot of really good reviews by people that i that i watch and, and read and stuff online um and it's has library on the cover and on the title and books on the cover so obviously i was gonna pick it up um but it's i think about our main character who is ver uh, very introverted and sort of only has books as her friends her great grandmother her grandmother zelda well lewis's favorite name <laughs> um died but she gets a book with a dedication um, inside it from her grandmother that suggests that maybe she's still alive and so there's, I guess, there's mystery that she's trying to figure out. Sounds really cute and like I would really appreciate it and enjoy it. And then I have two cozy murder mysteries. I started, uh, I don't tend to buy a lot of them just because they take up a lot of space for such, such short, quick reads. But I obviously would like to own all of them at some point because I enjoy all the one, a lot of the ones that I read. And so last Christmas, I started this series because it's Christmas themed and I love it. Um, and it is a Christmas town, a year round Christmas mystery. Because it takes place in sort of a Christmassy town where the tourist draw is that it's always Christmas. Um, and I read numbers one and two um, for Christmas last year. And so I guess I'm just getting ready for Christmas this year. And I got um, Hark the Herald Angels Slay. <laughs> and Silent Night, Deadly Night, both by Vicki Delaney, and they are year-round Christmas mysteries. Don't judge me. So those are some books that I have acquired recently. I have a lot more, but they are Latinx books, and I want to do just a Latinx book haul for Hispanic Heritage Month, so you'll see that coming up soon as always thank you for watching and for listening i love you guys very much let me know if you know any about any of these if you've read them if you want me to read them like sooner rather than later um i love you guys